Welcome to the Xon Photography. My name is Janis Dierksen and we are at the Photographer's Diary. I'm going to give you an insight into my life in terms of what I did in the photography world. I will give it to you every month and we arrived in the month August 2018. So what happened in the photography that I've done in August 2018? Let's take a look at it. Now it's still wedding season, so I went to many weddings as a photographer. There are three lenses I always bring. 24mm 1.4, 50mm 1.2, 135mm 2.0. These three lenses are all I need. I have a wide angle lens, a normal lens and a telephoto lens. And there are lenses I leave at home. For example, the 35mm 1.4 that's filming now, I leave at home. And the 85mm 1.2 I leave at home. Because they are too close to the other focal length. So I only need three lenses and I have two cameras, Canon 6D Mark I and Canon 6D Mark I. I'm filming now with the Mark II, but it's not necessary on a wedding day. The Mark I is fine for that. It really fits the job. I get incredible images even with this old camera, so there's no need to upgrade. Okay, so weddings. So I thought it might be interesting to take a look at how do I get to a wedding job? Because I don't post any weddings on my website publicly and I don't post them on any social media platform. So nobody knows I'm doing weddings. <laughs> Only the people who met me on a wedding know. So let me give you one story to one wedding that I shot last month. So some time ago, I photographed a wedding of somebody that went to school with me. We went into the same class, but it was 20 years ago. And that person saw pictures I took on Facebook, not wedding pictures, just normal lifestyle pictures. And she asked me, hey, do you shoot weddings? We're getting married. And so I said, yes. And I shot the wedding um, of Miriam and Sönke. And on that wedding was another couple, and I always photograph all couples there. I make a mini shooting with everybody. And so, after that wedding of Miri and Sönke came the next wedding, Daniela and Sven. And they recommended me to Kati and Michi. So, two more weddings from that one wedding. And there were also there also was one wedding where all three couples were together, which, which was really nice. And then Kati and Michi recommended me to Natalia and Dennis, one couple, to Jana and Henrik, another couple, and to Jana and uh, Timo, another couple. And Jana and Timo now recommended me to another couple as well for 2019. And I thought, wow, so many weddings just from shooting one wedding. And then Miri and Sönke, Miri has a sister, Sönke has two brothers. One of his brother was getting married. So I shot that wedding as well from Arne and Katja. And on that wedding from Arne and Katja, the couple, Miri's sister, came to me and asked me, hey, we, are, want, we want to get married. Do you have time on this and this day? And unfortunately, I already had a wedding book there. So they changed the wedding day so I could come. I thought, this is incredible. <laughs> they changed the date for me. And that was the wedding I shot last month. That was Rachel and Frank. So, because I shot a wedding three years ago, I now had a wedding last month. And from that wedding, I already have another wedding booked in one year, August 2019 in Munich just from the wedding last month. And I think, you know, there are only a few things I do in life, but I do them every day. That is being with Anna and taking picture. So when you see me or see me do anything, you probably see me with the camera or with my girlfriend. That are these two things. These two things are everything I have and everything I need from the last eight years. And now there's a third thing, which is our son. So these are the three things that I keep very close to me and I do it every day. And I know if I do it every day, I become good at it. If I become good at it, I can charge money for it. If I charge money for it, I can invest that money back into the thing. For example, buy new lenses, new cameras, and do more. And then it all grows, grows, grows. So find something you love. 
because if you love it, you can do it a lot. You can do it often, you can do it every day, and you get a great feeling doing it. It is a reward. It's not a job. It's not a pain. It's something that you love. I love going to weddings. It's the best thing I can think about doing on a Saturday. I don't, you know, if I have a choice going, for example, to Venice, like this, here in Italy, or shooting a wedding anywhere, I would shoot the wedding, and I would even do it for free, just because of the joy that I can create with the camera. To me, success is not what I get, it's what I become. And I become by giving joy to others. So the more joy I give to others, the more joyful I am. <laughs> so that was how I got to one wedding of Rachel and Frank. What else happened in August? Now Anna, we got the baby and Anna has one year off. One year free time. She's a teacher and so at the beginning of the year we thought, what do we want to do this year? If we can do anything, okay, let's go to Paris. That's one goal. And we did, we did it last week. Let's go to Venice, to Italy. That's where we're at right now. This is the Canal Grande, the Rio Grande. And let's do a cruise, a cruise trip on a big boat where we don't have to do anything but eat and just get out of the boat to watch a city. And I wrote that down on my calendar at the beginning of the year and I chose a week in August. But I didn't write it in my main calendar because that was for weddings. So I left it free for weddings. But now in August, when August actually came, I thought, well, I still have here the cruise trip in the calendar, but I haven't done any action into it. So in the, in the middle of August, I went into a, a travel agency office and I got a cruise trip one week later. And we went to Mallorca, to Spain, and from there with the boat, to Corsica, and then to Rome, Italy, to Florence, Italy, Barcelona, Spain, and then to Mallorca again. And I thought, incredible. <laughs> I can show you some images. I shot with the Canon 6D Mark II, that's filming now, with the 24 millimeter L lens and the 135 millimeter L lens, both incredible lenses. The 135 is so great because no matter what is surrounding you, you can blur everything out and just take a picture of what you want to focus on. Now you might say, oh look at him, he's so, he has such a rich life, uh, everything is positive, always smiling, everything works. Let me tell you, it's not always, it's not always the case. If you want to enjoy the good times, you have to go through some bad times as well. So let me give you three moments that happened recently in the photography world that didn't go well. So on the trip to the, the, road, the boat trip in Corsica, I went into the water with my camera, took some pictures with the 24 millimeter lens and it stopped working. And the camera doesn't work anymore when I put the lens on. So the lens is, is something really going wrong and I, I send it in and it's going to cost me a couple of hundred euros probably. So I lost that lens in a way you could say. Now it's wedding season, I need that lens and so I have the 35 1.4 that's filming now, the Sigma Art lens that is now my replacement until I get the 24 back because 24 is better because it's wider. 35 is too close to 50 millimeter and I like the 50 millimeter more than this 35. And so, one lens broke down. The lens is a 1,400 euro lens and it just broke down. Second thing, I thought, which lens do I want in the Canon lineup? And there's 200 millimeter 2.8. I think that's an incredible lens, especially now with the baby. Get the baby, put it on the, in the park, give it something to play, then get away and take pictures with the 200 millimeter 2.8 and 2.8. I think these images look great. And I wanted to buy the lens and I thought it cost new 700 to 800 euros. And on eBay I found it for under 400 euros. So I wrote that guy said, I, wanted, I want to buy that lens. He says, great. I sent the money and the guy is gone. <laughs> the lens is gone. I don't hear anything from him. And so the money is gone. That is the second thing that happened that didn't go so well in the photography world for me. Third thing, I bought a camera last year, the Hasselblad H3D. That lens, that camera came out 12 years ago with a price tag of $32,000. The most expensive camera in the world. And now the sensor doesn't get any energy and I can't use it. 
and it, it doesn't work anymore. And I think having a Hasselblad camera repaired is going to cost me much more than the Canon lens, which is a couple of hundred euros. And so I think I lost that camera, so the Hasselblad, because I don't know if, it, if it's worth checking the repair. So that is three things going wrong in the photography world. A lens broke down, the 24L, a lens I bought, I didn't receive, the money is gone, 400 euros, the 200 millimeter lens I bought on eBay, and the Hasselblad, the most expensive camera in the world in 2006 that I bought last year, now broke down and I can't use it anymore. Three things happen, very negative, and you might get upset about it. When somebody says, I sent you the lens, you sent me the money, and that guy doesn't call you anymore, doesn't write you anymore. Now I think, I think we always have to focus on the positive. Success is always positive. So it doesn't make sense to focus on the negative. Even when something like this happens, I have to focus on the positive. For example, the Hasselblad broke down, very expensive. I paid a lot of money for it as well. And the positive thing is, how great is it that I was able to buy a Hasselblad camera? Isn't that great? Now it's gone, now it broke down, now I can't use it anymore and I can't sell it because it doesn't work anymore. But isn't it great? I got a Hasselblad camera, digital, medium format. How many people can say that? And that is the positive thing about it. So, the, the important thing is that I always focus on is the positive. Whatever negative happens, I take it and I laugh at it. I pick it up and I make, I create joy with it. I think about what good do I still have just because I lost that negative thing. So I lost the Hasselblad camera, but I thought how great is it that I was able to have something like this as a, as a free time camera, as a private just for fun camera. That is crazy. Not many people buy a Hasselblad digital medium format camera. So maybe you can get something out of this. I focus on the positive. There are only a few things in my life that I really am into. That is my girlfriend, that is now our son, and that is photography. And when you see me somewhere, it's probably with my girlfriend on my side or with the camera in my hand. And I think if you focus on what you love, good stuff will happen to you. They say when you work on your gifts, they will make room for you. <laughs>